But that being said, the reason why people glorify the health of their business over the health of their customers' businesses is because that's their immediate focus, is you know their own profit margins. I'm not saying profit isn't a good thing. I have a freaking money bag poster above my desk. I love profit. I'm a capitalist. Profit's great. But what I don't like is you thinking that your profit comes before the relationship with your customers. That's not the truth. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In this one, I wanted to talk about what I believe many social media marketing agency owners are doing completely wrong and what is stunting their growth as a business. Um, and so this is coming from the perspective of somebody who, within their first month of starting social media marketing, uh, booked a client that pretty much quadrupled, actually more than quadrupled their business, and then took 20% of the revenue driven in their business. So I took an information product business online from $4,000 a month to now I believe we're doing almost $40,000 a month in revenue. It's not quadrupled, that's 10x. I 10x their business, basically, just with a couple simple funnels. Um, and then as well, I've been in the room with multi seven figure earners, CEOs of large companies, um, and I've been able to consult them and help them. And, uh, you know, this isn't, I'm not trying to brag, I'm just trying to help you understand. Look, you know, I didn't go the traditional route of social media marketing where you get on YouTube and you find some dude who talks about it and buy their course. It's, you know, I just think this way from the ground up. It's just foundational for me. Um, you know, I even grew up in a home where my father was an internet marketer, so it's literally in my blood. He was fired from his job selling Microsoft software, and he started selling crap on eBay, and it just, you know, funneled out into all kinds of other stuff, and internet entrepreneurship is just, it's my freaking thing. Uh, and so, with that being said, like, what I believe a lot of social media marketing agency owners are doing wrong, and why I want to point this out is because I think people are really limiting their growth, and they're limiting their ability to execute, and especially they're putting glass ceilings on themselves that they don't need to have. Um, and these are the ways that they're doing it, and this is things that people are doing wrong. So first of all, they're not productizing their service. So what I mean by that is when you buy a product, like let's say you go on Amazon and you buy a product. You can click add to cart, and then you buy the product, and then the process is over. The product's shipped to you. The pro there's no more user input, right? There's no more customer input other than find the product, check out with it, it's yours. Done. So the closer you can get your agency to a product, the better. The closer you can take your agency from being a complicated service that requires a ton of customer input, user input, to then being something that's simple, streamlined, and is a process, the better. Because then you're creating a much higher glass ceiling for your ability to serve people. So back when I was a wedding photographer, which was probably my first business of all time, I uh, served clients manually, and I did all the work myself. I edited the photos, I took the photos, I showed up on location three, four meetings before, and I learned the hard way that I was trading my time for money. What I didn't realize is that people don't just buy my time, they buy the value that they get from my time. They buy a result. And so when you are in the social media marketing agency business, your goal is not to sell a service. Your goal is to drive a result. And if you can streamline the process of that result, not only will you be paid more, but you can take on more customers. And an example of this process would be your client onboarding process. Instead of doing email back and forth 16 times and then eventually getting their Facebook business, you know, ID and then importing them and then having to train them on how to get you and, and, and you know, all this crap, create a funnel. And it's a funnel that I use that takes them step by step through the process of being onboarded into your agency. You know, like, you know, first is, hey, here's expectations. You know, so you understand what I can and can't do. Next is, you know, your business ID. Next is, you know, somebody that I can contact when I have questions as the agency owner. Next is, you know, content. Who's going to provide us, you know, structure the onboarding. Next is structure the service delivery. Instead of you doing the service delivery, have talented outsourced workers that are on hand, ready to rock, contracted into your company. Right? That way, at any moment, when you have a buttload of work coming in because you never know when a lead's going to come in, especially if you have an online personal brand like I do, then you ha you're ready for the work. This is what I do. I've got an incredible network of very talented marketers around me, and at any point, I can just give them the work. And that's how it's supposed to work. You're not supposed to do the work yourself. You can, 
but you're creating a glass ceiling because you only have 24 hours in the day. But if you have five people, all of a sudden you have almost 200 hours in a day, right? So that's the difference. So you want to include the right people and outsource the work. And though you are cutting into profit margins in the long term, you're creating a more productized service, which is what you want to do. And you want to streamline the process of serving your customers. The reason as a wedding photographer, I could only shoot two or three weddings a month is because I never systemized the process of editing. Editing was my bottleneck. I had to edit each individual photo myself. I never had the thought because I didn't think like an entrepreneur to outsource the editing. I don't know why I'm an idiot. I could have done it. There's websites for it. wedding photographer editing outsource websites. I could open a company right now. And because of some of the clients that I market for their audience is wedding photographers. So I could own that company right now. It's a total tangent, but you get the point, right? So that's the first thing. They're not productizing the service. They're not productizing the service. They're making it manual. They're keeping it from being scalable. They think that they have to do all the work themselves. And I think that stems out into point number two. You may be able to consider this point 1.5 even though. They think they have to know it all, but you don't. You just have to sell the service. You can have somebody on your team that knows it all, right? If you're heading a company, you have to understand how the company works, but you don't have to understand the relationship of your company to your customer. A lot of people totally disagree with me on this, but I understand. What you want to do is you want to understand every individual in your company and their role so that you can oversee it and make sure it works. But what you don't have to do is know how to take the place of each individual person in your company. You don't have to do that. So you don't have to be a marketing know-it-all, but you have to have somebody on your team that is. You don't have to be a Facebook ads know-it-all, but you have to have somebody on your team that is. Webinar know-it-all, you don't have to be. Have somebody on your team. Have somebody on your team for each individual need that you meet with your customers. Or one golden, amazing person, <laughs> right? You provide the leads, they do the service, and, you know? So that's sort of 1.5, it's more like one. Sort of a you know, tangent off of one. I would say number two, and this is equally as huge, people don't streamline the process of getting leads into their agency. So like for me, I use my personal brand, one, and then two, I use you know Facebook ads. And then I have people who are trying to train me right now on LinkedIn ads and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, but my goal is that I'd never have to cold outreach ever. And I'm not saying you shouldn't have to cold outreach, but I'm saying that if you're smart, you don't have to. Because especially if your service is good, right? Like, why is it that every other business, people come to them? But for some reason, with an agency, people love cold calling. Makes no sense to me. Like, you know, every other business on the planet. Like, I was a wedding photographer. People, wedding photographers don't cold call. They just maintain a good reputation. But for some reason, for some stupid reason, with the social media marketing agency community and all these Ty Lopez fanboys, they think cold calling is like some golden thing. And I get it. It works. It really works. You can get leads. But it's not the only way to get leads. All you need is one customer that absolutely loved your service and then you just leverage their results. And that's what you do. And that's what I did as a wedding photographer. I was smart enough as a 17 year little kid to be like, all right, I'm just gonna have one couple that I work with and just be freaking a rock star for them. And then the word will spread because they have friends that are married couples. So have it in your agreement, right? We'll only charge you, you know, a third of what we typically charge, but you have to send us you know, four or five of your close business partner friends that you think we could serve as well in the next few months. Like, set up systems. Why not? People just, they're so stupid about this. They just, they don't think, they don't think this way. They think it's, it all, it's all manual. They think they have to be like muscling through it. They feel like they have to like punch down a brick wall. You, you just put a ladder, ladder over the brick wall, dude. You know? Just simple ways to fix the problems that people think are complex. So, and lastly, and most importantly, they don't take in mind, they take in mind more so the health of their company than they do the health of their customers' companies or their businesses. Like, that's such an unhealthy perspective. And the reason why people do this, and this is my theory, is that, you know, people have been sold this business model because it's, very, it's a very lucrative business model. Just like maybe Shopify drop shipping or maybe many other business models that are popular online, like Amazon FBA, it's very easy to sell the information as to how to rock, how, how to rock the business, right? Social media marketing is the same way. 
there's lots of gurus who sell courses and all this stuff. I don't personally sell a social media marketing course. I don't think I will anytime soon. But, uh, you know, who knows though. But that being said, the reason why people glorify the health of their business over the health of their customers' businesses is because that's their immediate focus, is, you know, their own profit margins. I'm not saying profit isn't a good thing. I have a freaking money bag poster above my desk. I love profit. I'm a capitalist. Profit's great. But what I don't like is you thinking that your profit comes before the relationship with your customers. That's not the truth. Long term, you'll succeed much, much, much more if you take in mind the needs of your customers before you take in mind your personal needs. Short term, you'll win. Short term, you'll make a whole lot more money than I will because I'm putting in need, I'm putting in place systems that serve my customers and maybe cut into my profit margins right now. Whereas you, all you're doing is seeing how much money you can get out of some idiot who doesn't understand marketing, like an idiot. It's just what's happening. And if, you're being, if you feel like I'm talking to you, it's because I am. <laughs> you're doing that. Stop doing that. You're going to lose in the long run. There was a company that I learned about recently. Essentially, it was a man who supposedly innovated the, uh, like the um, pharmaceutical drug market. And the reason he innovated it, according to investors, uh, well, I won't share why. Essentially, he took the drug market and it just went, whew, people like wondering how on earth is he making so much more profit buying out drugstores. And so investors see the profit margins and they start putting money in. Roll down the line five years, guess what he did? Well, he actually removed the research and development departments at all these drugstores, and so they couldn't come out with new drugs. But, at, you know, for, for a minute, they were more profitable. So good for you, dude. For five years, you were a rock star. Then you were broke. That's the same thing. It's the exact same thing. If you care about your customers, you'll win. If you don't care about your customers, you're going to lose. I'm not saying profit isn't a bad thing. Again, rainbow freaking money bag poster above my desk. But what I am saying is that if you don't take in mind the needs of your customers, you're going to lose in the long term and potentially even in the short term. So business is other oriented. Care about other people, care about their needs, want the best for them, work for the best for them, and you'll win. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Just wanted to film this real quick. Hope you enjoyed the little fireplace. I think that's pretty dope. And I will see you guys in the next video. I wanted to put more social media marketing agency stuff out on this channel. So I've been getting a lot of questions about it in the Instagram DM and all that stuff. People are hearing about my clients and these people I'm working with. They just want to hear more about it. So, all right. Thanks again. See you in the next one.